Well, it was a good week. Um, had a chance to step away for a little bit as a staff and as a, as a team. Yeah, the coaches went out recruiting Monday and Tuesday of last week, and then we had a practice on Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, and then the players got off uh, after their lift on Friday through uh, Sunday. We had a, came back and had a great workout, I thought, yesterday with a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. We did some things differently offensively last week and uh, yesterday in terms of personnel. We moved some offensive linemen around and tried to match up some guys a little bit better, and I thought that worked out well for us, and we're going to stick with it going into this week's game. Uh, I had a chance to uh, you know, just go back and take a quick, close look at ourselves and, and self-evaluate and see where we are and at this particular time and watch guys run around and really try to focus on ourselves last week. and. We started game planning a little bit more with the team yesterday and more of Bowling Green's schema schematics offensively and defensively and special teams. And we'll have a couple good practices this week and get ready to tee it up again. Yeah, that's a, it's, you know, it gives you some power over there, some power and some quickness on our left side. And uh, we'll have to talk offensively in terms of running the ball, which way you want to run the ball zone and power and things like that. But those guys give you some real punch coming off the ball when those guys go shoulder to shoulder on some of those double teams. So it was good to see uh, that uh, those guys take that step. Well, it's, it's again, it's working with different guys. You know, he's got to work now with two different guys. He's worked with Chris Anzavino on his right and, and uh, Brian on his left. So it's all about communication. A lot of the things, and plus it's on the opposite side. It's not on the same side. So, it's, you know, he's got to get used to playing with his hand on the ground because a lot of times we'll play with our tackles with a two-point stance. Uh, now he's got to put his hand in the dirt. Um, but uh, he's adjusted pretty quickly. Yeah, Kent moved back outside where he played last year. And, you know, he seems a little bit more comfortable. Um, I'm not sure why, but uh, maybe it's because he, he was there for a year. But he's doing a good job there and, and doing the things that we're asking him to do outside at the tackle spot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those guys were very open-minded, and they want to find the, the best thing to do for our football team to make us better. And they were very open-minded. Well, I think that... One, again, clear, being able to clear our heads and, and self-evaluate can only do good for yourself when you're struggling. Uh, I, think, I thought our energy was great yesterday at practice, and I think they're hungry. And, and that's one of the things I wanted to have happen last week, giving them some time off, is I wanted them to be hungry for football again. Well, I missed it. I mean, it's always nice to have a, some break, but at the same time, and uh, you want to get better every day. and. Uh, uh, so I, I miss it a lot, and just uh, it's just fun to do, and it's what we love to do. So any time off is good, but not too much time off. I missed it. Um, it was kind of weird having some time. I didn't really like it. Usually I'm always doing something with football, and it gave us a little extra time to think about about everything and what we need to do to get better. I actually went hunting. <laughs> so, no. So it gives me a lot of time to, to think about everything. So were you in a blind the whole time? No. Tree stand. <laughs> Where at? Dover. Brady, did you do anything that interesting? Accounting homework. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. That took up most of my time and some marketing quizzes. But no hunting for me. Did she do anything? <laughs> yeah, they did. They did a great job. If you watch the film, uh, their energy, Bowling Green's energy, jumps off the film from start to finish. You see guys on the sideline high five and chest bumping, uh, just having a great time on the sideline. They executed. That's what it came down to. They made some plays at the end of the game. They hit a fade ball on them late. They ran a wheel route on them late and executed them well. And uh, you know, Temple kept fighting back, but Bowling Green made a couple more plays than Temple did at the end. And uh, that's a good football team. Both of them were good football teams. Uh, I thought the execution by the quarterback was very good. Uh, they got a running back that's very quick and uh, can create some issues. And then they got a wide out that uh, made some plays. So they got three guys on offense that can hurt you. Now, one of the things you noticed, you said 
they had a lot of high energy. That was like the first thing you said. How important is that in a football game? Well, I think when you're going into a game like and you're playing Temple, um, you need some some emotion throughout the course of the game because you know there's going to be adversity throughout the course of the game. But uh, they, they carried that emotion from start to finish, and I thought that was one of the things that perhaps made a difference at the end of the game. It still comes down to making plays, but I thought their emotion, you're just watching, just watching the film throughout the, the whole course of the game, they were excited.